All right, somebody asked for help creating a, uh, an automated output for a servo test that would just swing up and swing down just uh, con continuously, like the little servo testers do, but to, to do it from the RadioMaster uh, TX16S. Now I've got Edge TX 2.71 on here. Um, you know, if you've got a different uh, operating system, this may change a little bit, but um, probably a number of ways to do this. Maybe there's an easier way. Here's what I come up with. So we'll click on the model, then we're going to go over. First, we need to set up some uh, logical switches. Now, I'm using L20, 21, and 22, but uh, you can use whatever you want. Uh, I also decided to use switch SB. This is just a test model I have for doing random stuff. Um, and the way I'm doing it, if the switch is not so when you put the switch forward, that deactivates the uh, the test output. When, if you go to either of the other two positions, it'll activate it. So first, L20 looks and sees if my switch, first of all, is not forward. So that exclamation point, SB up, that means the it's looking to make sure that switch is not forward. So if you're in either down position, that's a true statement. Um, and it's also looking, so A is less than X. It's looking to see if channel 12, and I'm just through channel 12 in there, you can make this as whatever channel you want. Um, the, that's the channel that would be your, uh, your servo tester output. I just picked channel 12 because it was high on the list and I wasn't using it for anything else. So the, the channel is whatever channel you want to use for your uh, test output. And it's looking if it's less than minus 99. So basically when it gets to minus 100, it's all the way down. Uh, L21 is also looking at that same switch, and it's looking for a greater than X. So if that channel 12 is greater than 99, so that means it's at the top of the scale, uh, that turns on. And then I have a sticky that's looking at L20 to uh, activate it, and then it resets when an L21 is a true statement. So basically, uh, when you flip the switch, uh, flip the SB switch away from up, uh, <clears throat> as soon as L20 is a true statement, it, it uh, latches L22. Once L21 is a true statement, it unlatches it. So that creates a situation where it just, uh, so I'll flip the switch on. So let's turn switch SB out of that. You see it's latched L22. If we just leave it on, now it's off. Now it's on. So it'll just continue to do that until I throw the switch off. And then when you throw the switch off, it will continue to go. And I'll show you the other parts of this. So logical switches. Now we're going to go back. We need to create an input for it. So here's my inputs. I just picked channel 12. This one doesn't really matter. You can pick whatever channel you want for the input. Um, that's not associated with the channel 12 output. I just picked something high up on the list. So. Uh, let's select that. There we go. Okay, so I just put the uh, input name test on there. Now the source is the L22. That's our uh, that's our sticky bit. Now that's all you really got to put in here. Give it a name if you want, and then uh, give it the source. Okay. Now that we have our source, back out of that. Now we got to go over to our mixes. Okay, now the mixes you do have to have on the right channel. So you see I've got channel 12. And uh, now you're using the source as that input test that we just created. That's here. And then uh, the only other thing you got to change in here is your delays. You want to make it go slower or faster, you just change these two delays and you can have them different. I've got them currently set for five seconds. So. Now again, when I flip the switch, now you can see the output takes five seconds to go full span, and then when it gets to the top, it resets, goes back down. There you have it. When you flip the switch, it does continue. So let me flip the switch off. I turn it off. It will go to the opposite end and stop. Uh, if it's currently going up, 
when you flip the switch, it'll stop at the top. So it'll stop at whatever end is the next one it reaches. If I flip it again, now it'll go back down to the bottom and stop. But if you leave the switch on, it'll just keep going indefinitely. There you go. <clears throat> Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.